Here's an unusual success story for you. Let me introduce you to Elizabeth Cochran Seaman, aka Nellie Bly, exposer of the horrors of a mental asylum in the late 1800s. I'm scared already. In 1885, Elizabeth read an article that argued that women should only have a domesticated role in the house, raising kids, cooking, and so forth. She wrote a sharp rebuke under the pseudonym Nellie Bly, earning her a spot as a columnist. Fun fact, she got her pen name from a song by Stephen Foster, who was basically the Justin Bieber of 1800s American folk music. Nellie became an investigative reporter, exposing unsafe working conditions, poor wages, and long hours at a local factory. Thank God all that's over with. <coughs> Amazon. <coughs> As an investigative reporter, she was given the terrifying assignment of looking into the Women's Lunatic Asylum on Blackwell's Island. You're welcome for the movie title, Hollywood. Her task was, quote, go undercover at the asylum with no guidance, even on how to gain entry, never mind how to get out, unquote. Well, isn't that a whole big bag of nope? She pretended, as I often do, that she was from Cuba and was searching for missing non-existent trunks. Getting in, as you can imagine, was the easy part. Over 10 days, she documented spoiled food, abuse, obscene neglect, filthy living conditions, and the general hellscape of an asylum that was well on its way to becoming eternally haunted, no doubt. She wrote a book on it called 10 Days in a Madhouse, which is just 700 fewer days than most of us have spent in a madhouse during this pandemic so far. Nellie built a career sticking up for what she believed in when nobody else believed in and around her. So learn her lesson well, I say, and expose, expose. <laughs>